Hey, you with the face! Have you seen some of our reactions before and really enjoyed them? Are you also an artist? If so, and you've made fan art of me or both of us, please send it to Zemo24 on DeviantArt. We love seeing the talent and various styles artists have, and by showing it in our reactions, hopefully more people will find and enjoy your work too. Now, I won't hold you any longer, so let's start the video! Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for our content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello, everyone! Brown Sweet Fire, Never Green Knight are back with Season 8! Woo woo! Yay! Good to know I didn't screw up the intro like I screwed up last, last week's outro. I haven't watched that yet. Three. Um, yeah, I got a few comments on that. Even fucking final decided to chip in on that. He was like, sweet outro, Brony. I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that I was going to try and make that work. And I was going to leave it in. <laughs> so there you go. See, y'all think that all of my videos go flawlessly. You'd be surprised. A lot of them do, but not all of them. Sometimes I fuck up. <laughs> And I felt so bad ever. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad because ever was just like, oh, okay, bye. I didn't get to say bye. <laughs> I think I get to say bye. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, after we, after we hit stop on the recording, I must have said sorry to her like 12 times. <laughs> so, it's like, ah. That's so bad. Anywho, um, we're taking a look at episode 24, and it's called Father Knows Beast. Not Father Knows Best, but Father Knows Beast. <laughs> um, so someone's dad's coming along, and they're apparently an animal? Discord. Yeah, Discord's father. Yeah, that'd be a trip. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem like I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm trying. Me and him are timing this with my dinner right now. <laughs> yeah. Because if cooking, I wait, she's cooking if something that take like thirty something minutes, and we gotta get this done before then. <laughs> yeah, because if I wait any longer, like if I wait until after dinner, I'm gonna sit here and eat. I'm probably gonna get so tired. I don't want to do it, and then I work tomorrow. So it's like, <laughs> we've got this. So we've got this. You've got this. We've got this together. <laughs> you good? <laughs> yeah. freaking american idol over here <laughs> all right you ready to start it yeah all right let's get started in three two one go just saying your voice cracked Josh. <laughs> that was adorable yeah <laughs> okay spike now let's try a flip Remember, two flaps, then straight up. Do a barrel roll. Spike's father? Uh, I, I guess. Oh. <gasps> Idiot. There's spider one. I don't know why they're doing flight training with Spike. It was shown that he was already pretty good at it when he first got his wings great, already. Spike. Mm -hmm. Now let's see the big finish. <sighs> Do a barrel roll. Well. What is that noise? Why are you not catching him with your magic? I know, right? Uh, Twilight, you're I supposed to be know. like his mother. Come on now. I am definitely finished. Maybe I should get Rainbow Dash. She's the one who taught me advanced flying techniques. No thanks. If I'm gonna mess up, I'd rather do it in front of you. I just don't understand. Enough for the hardcore. Yeah, right. Because Cause she'll just laugh at him. Maybe her father? Well, we don't have feathers for uh. starters. Yes! I mean, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. That, like, they do fly differently. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much! How did you know I just needed to bend my wings? Honestly, this is Dragon 101. Usually, dragon parents teach this stuff. Yeah, about that. Spike, I've been thinking about our flying lesson. Uh huh. I can't believe I overlooked something as simple as feathers. It's no wonder you were having trouble. That's not why he's upset, though. I wish I had more dragonish knowledge to give you. Do you think being raised by ponies has affected you in other ways? Spike? 
Did you say something, Twilight? Uh, sorry, I'm just finishing up this thank you throw pillow for Smolder. And you know how I get when I'm in the embroidery zone. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pillow, but not for no shit. Although it could be, it's a throw pillow. They're more casual. You can use them anywhere. You don't like it. Uh, it's not that. It's just dragons don't really use pillows at all. What? Hey, what's that? I don't know. It's it looks like a comet fire! that's on fire. Heads up. There's a fireball. It's a Hadouken. That's the song. Okay. Fireball. Uh, really yeah, right. <laughs> Also, that poor gift got burnt up high. There. <laughs> hey there, young dragons. Um, Name Sledge. Heart no way. Please don't tell me. Right? Yeah. What happened? To what? You fucking uh, idiot. I don't need to explain myself to a couple of baby dragons. This pony's just like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, great. Maybe not. But you're hurt and need help. So I'm taking you to Twilight's castle whether you like it or not. Castle, eh? <laughs> Don't go eating her castle. I'm glad Spike, Spike back on turn to a father. We understand you made quite an that impression really in weird. town. Literally, there's a hole in everything. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to fix it. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're in much shape to do anything. I'll manage. Dragons take care of themselves. I don't need help from a bunch of castle living ponies. <laughs> this guy seems way too stubborn in his ways. Like, she's one AJ. Fine. I can't watch. You're not the first stubborn dragon we've met, you know. And sometimes even dragons Lol. need help. I promise. My friends get a wheelchair. will only do enough to get you back on your claws. He's like, eh! Cast, pillow, nasty blanket, messing with Angel. <laughs> he's gonna get greedy like Spike did. He's, yeah, he's gonna get spoiled. Here are those joints working teams. Wow. Very efficient. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Picky, that's just bullying. Really? This guy's such a slacker. Dude, you could stand to lose a little bit of weight if you want to have a chance to fly. Kind of hard to fly with those little wings. You are not going to keep up with Pinkie Pie. Have fun with that. Oh! He's flying! Well, I guess that kind of works. Hey! I know you had your reservations, but it's good to see you feeling better. Thanks, I guess. That's but. what friends are for, darling. You're pretty lucky to have friends like these, kid. Actually, I was orphaned as an egg, and Twilight raised me. So these ponies are more than my friends. They're my family. We try our yeah. best, but sometimes I worry maybe Spike is missing something deep down and dragonish. Really? Wow. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. Why an equestria would you be glad to hear that? I wasn't going to say anything since your life seems so perfect, but I have a confession to make. Coming to Ponyville wasn't an accident. I was looking for you. Spike, I'm your father. Yeah. <gasps> Can't figure no! that out. <laughs> yeah. I kind of figured that. You crashed in Ponyville on purpose? Well, the crash part wasn't on purpose, but heading here was. I've been searching everywhere for you, kid. Did you ask in the Crystal Empire? I'm kind of well known there. Spike. Actually, <laughs> Spike's well known everywhere. Not a lot of dragons were hatched by the Princess of Friendship. Mm-hmm. 
You make it sound so simple. Apple I wish Jack. you'd been there mm -hmm. to help me search. So I where's the can't mother? Believe it. I have so many questions. Well, ask away. Answering questions is what dads are for. I, I guarantee you, he's not his sure. actual dad. He's I only doing it so he can stay there. You should <laughs> ask something else. It's not to mention that they don't look memories. too similar either. Right? Like, your mother at all. was the best dragon I'd ever met. The dragon lord even oh, picked her to scout for the great migration. And, and even okay. though she just laid your rig, we knew she'd have to go. But finding the migration route could take a lifetime, and you deserved a chance to know your mother. So I went looking for her, carried your egg to places no dragon or pony has ever been. Past Mount Eris, the abandoned home of the Hippogriffs. Ooh, did you visit Kluge Town? You've been to Kluge Town? Yeah. Maybe. Uh -huh. Also, the Hippogriffs returned to Mount Eris after we helped them defeat the Storm King. Oh, well. Have you heard Again. of the end of the scale collectors? Uh uh. Because that's where your mother's trail is. He just made that up. Led. To a prison oh. <laughs> world of dragon hunters, where I was forced to choose between surrendering myself or surrendering your egg. Of course, there was no way I was going to sacrifice my boy, so they took me instead. That's so and That's where up. I've been ever since. Locked up somewhere yeah, but how's the egg out there if you were in a cave when you're caught? Whoa. How did you know I was a boy? Whatever happened to Spike's mom? And how did the egg make it all the way back to Equestria by itself? See? I wish I had all the answers. <laughs> Never? Well, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm agreeing. We're together, and I'm gonna make up for lost time. I hope you don't mind. Making, uh, he's making it up so he down. stays there. Mind, Spike, my boy, with you by my side, I feel like we can do anything. What do you want to do first? Well, find I've his mom. Kind of been working on a list for a long time. Dude, you want to do all of this? Oh, I mean, we don't have to. If you think doing everything on this incredibly long list is gonna fill the hole where your dragonishness should be, then that is exactly what we're gonna do. <gasps> right. Jesus. Uh. uh okay. I, I guess that works. Christmas. Jeez, it sounds. What the crap? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that they just kind of changed the weather there just to pretend it's Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Bruh. That would probably be me if I actually if I was wearing that outfit. A bit like. Uh. Ellie's getting annoyed. I can't believe we got so many things done. But this is all my stuff. Is there anything you always wanted to do with me? Not really. I, I mean, Boy. I'm happy to do whatever you want. But if I had a castle like this, with all this stuff, I'd probably just lay around all day doing nothing like a real dragon. Like a real dragon? Sure. I'm not surprised you don't know any better. Twilight basically raised you as a pony. You're barely a dragon at all. Huh? Yeah, Dad wouldn't say that. Hey, Spike. How this is are like a big moral life? dilemma for Spike. Honestly, I thought having him around would make me feel more dragonish, but I kind of feel less. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Ah, oh, shucks. This fucking guy. I guess I shouldn't have said anything about you being more pony than dragon. I just wish we had more in common. Maybe you two can come up with ways to turn up Spike's uh dragonishness. <laughs> you think that's something we can do? Dragonishness. You know what, son? I think it is. Spike, I'm gonna teach you a thing or two Don't about no being way. a dragon. 
So listen up, my boy, because I'm only gonna say this once. Look at this castle where you live. It's pretty sweet, right? You can't be a dragon here. Uh, can't? Look at these books up on the wall. Hey, I just finished organizing this. This treasure pile's not right, I fear. Trust me, I got you covered here. You see all this soft pony this stuff? This is really plushy. With? This has got to be the first thing to go. Nothing about this place is dragon den. There's too much fluff. All these fancy robes toss in a pile. Take those goblets, dishes. Is that gold still not enough? The pony buying might just take a while. Sure, this place is grandiose, but to a dragon, hmm? it's just gross. Time we make a lot of I don't think he's a fan of that ship. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't care for Twilight and Starlight. He shifts. Yeah, no, don't worry. You're not, you're not alone. But this is still just the beginning. Each and every dragon has a swag. Please don't beat Naysay. Naysay is up. The, the way that he, like, moves while he dances, I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Jungle Book. Like, it reminds me of, like, the monkey when he dances. I don't know why. The, the orangutan one. an annoying kid who thinks they know what they are doing. Mm. Your life is soft, your scales are quaffed. These pillows, beds, and sheets are washed. I'm delight, but it's just not right what's underneath. Dragon must be free. Look at you, then look at me. Since when do dragons? He's trying to get him to move out so he can move in. More or less. Sure, this place is grandiose, but to a dragon, it's just gross. Time we make the lot all disappear. Don't hit somebody in the head. Whoa, the he just threw out Star level. She was taking a bath. After that, then you'll be free. You just can't be a dragon. See, what did I tell you? You're very lucky that I found you. Now go get me some more. You got it. I'm gonna go get you all the cushy pony stuff I've got. Dad. Great. Go get him, son. Cause this dragon just can't wait to live here. Yep. <laughs> Fucking boy. One punch him. Spike? I just thought I'd check to see if you and Sludge had any luck turning up your dragonishness. It's hard not to feel like somehow I let you down all these years. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to barge in on Oh my gosh. Draw me like one of your French dragons. <laughs> me castle is Sue castle. Right. Well, I'll just it's get out her of castle. Way. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mike, I'm so sorry. My morning is not going well. Uh, well, you you, you firmly placed your butt so in Spike's early? face, so... I didn't leave. I spent the night uh -huh. outdoors to get in touch with my dragon side. Outdoors? Yeah, and Sludge asked me to bring him the best breakfast Ponyville has to offer so he can show me how a real dragon would eat it. See you later! You're being played, Spike. And that's why I thought we could use the map to... Hey, gang! Dad was just showing me how a real dragon would act in the throne room. Dragons like to sprawl when they get their claws done. <sighs> now, if you'll all excuse me, it's time for my bath. <sighs> Boy. Isn't he the best? You mean the bath he threw out sure with that's starlight that's inside? Exactly the word I would use. <laughs> uh, Spike, the bath isn't going to fill itself, son. Be right there. Dad. Excuse you. My gosh. He's still very young and you're making him do shit like He's... my father makes me. I'm glad Back you're not the fuck up. The this, again. this is just oh, I am. annoying. I'm just looking for a good bedtime story to read to my dad first. It's nice that you have some pony. You don't. Dragon the culture. son doesn't read a bedtime story to sure the parent. What the crap? What do you mean? Well, taking over your room, making a mess of things. <sighs> that is dragon culture. You never no. acted like that. That's because you raised me. Now I finally have a chance to see how I'm supposed to be. Why don't you go ask think you're supposed to be your other dragon you friend, the student? Maybe you just don't like that I have a real parent now. Oh, oh shit. Oh, so true. I'm glad Sludge is here. That was, uh, I just wish he wasn't such a dragon. A low blow. All ponies. I can't believe you would have a problem with that. Oh, that actually was such a low blow. No Spice. shit, that's why they animated that heartbreak. You. 
Yeah. Listen to her. What happened to you? Just sleeping outside like we're meant to? It's not like dragons are supposed to live in castles. I guess not. But I live in the school. Nothing says we have to live outside. <sighs> so confused. It's been great having Sled show me how to be a real dragon. The Twilight just doesn't get it. What do you mean? She can't handle how good at being a dragon sludge is. Maybe someday, I'll be able to lay around doing nothing as well as he does. What? Well, not now, of course. I'm too busy bringing him pony stuff so he can show me what a dragon would do with it. So, sludge just lays around while you wait on him claw and tail? Uh, dragons are rude and rebellious, but they aren't lazy lumps who take advantage of their kids. Huh, now I'm really confused. Me too. Why don't you tell me everything Sludge said about being a dragon? Get him, Smolder! Get hey, him! What's going on, son? Twilight doesn't like having real dragons in the castle, so I told her we're moving out. <laughs> you what? Spike! I found the perfect cave where you two can live. There aren't even any comfortable rocks inside. That does this sound is what perfect. This is their plan. No, it doesn't. I, I, I mean that... Uh... I'm not sure I fully demonstrated all the ways a dragon would live here. But we're not going to live here anymore, so it doesn't matter. It matters to me. I, I want to uh -huh. make sure you have all the knowledge you need. But I do. Dad, you've already shared so much. This bed is much too soft. Just take that silk robe up. We can't be dragons living here. Your father. What? I just what? said that to get in on this sweet castle life. Yep. So yep. You pretended to be my dad? Na, 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 don't look at me like that, kid. I did what any dragon would do. Really? No, you didn't. Hey, I saw an opportunity and I took it. That's what dragons do. No, it isn't. You know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here. Enjoy life in Pony Town. Uh, I'm taking this pillow. I can't believe I thought some pony like that could show me how to be anything. Uh, it must be hard growing up not really knowing who you are. That's the thing. I know exactly who I am and how I got that way. You better go apologize to Twilight. Um, Twilight? Oh, hi. Where's your father? He's gone. Turns out he wasn't what a real dragon should be after all. He also wasn't my real dad. Oh, Spike. I'm so sorry. I'm the one who's Mama sorry. Twilight. You were just worried about me and I lost my temper. Sludge was just a great big phony. I have to say, I'm not surprised. There's no way a dragon like that was related to you. But if you still want to search for your real family, I'd understand if you spent more time in the Dragonlands. I don't think so. I already know who my real family is. Oh, it's me, right? No. Mm -hmm. Besides, oh. <laughs> it's me, right? <laughs> no way I'm living without pillows. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Uh. I just love that little ending. It's me, right? Yeah, not right. Yes. <laughs> Twilight, it's you. She just, she just wanted to hear it. She's just like, look, you actually broke my heart earlier. I just want to hear it. So I can be like, eee. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Twilight's heart grew three times that day. <laughs> that. <sighs> I like and hate that episode. I hate it because a fucker tried to. Yeah. Yeah. No. But I don't care about Paul. Like, from I the very beginning, ass. like, from the very beginning, you and I were very suspicious of him. We were just like, hmm, something's off. Yeah. I mean, like, like, like I said, like, he didn't really look like Spike either. And what's weird is when he gave the story of his mom. Yeah. He, like, made it sound like. That he was all heroic. He was all heroic, and he also. Was his father because he even animated a dragon that looked almost like Spike. 
Mm. Well, like, not to mention but that they, his stories had plot holes in it, like how did the egg get out of the cave and into Equestria? Well, another thing that really set me off, and I kind of, yeah, he's faking it. Remember he paused about the, like, where this thing went? Mm. He paused for a second, he was like, oh, uh, and then made it up. I don't, I didn't, I don't like the episode as a whole because of that guy, but I do kind of like a little bit of it because it showed good moments with Spike and Twilight, both, uh, that even if they had, like, a little eh moment near the end That was so sad. I wanted yeah. to cry when he said that. That was, uh... Yeah, no, that was real bad, but it got, it got made up with the ending. Like, I like that. But another part I like is this is like the second or third episode in which we've seen Spike take lessons from Smolder. Right. What was the first one? When about wasn't it about his uh, dragon stones? Yeah, the scale, the, the scales come? and stuff. That yeah. was like the little she dragon like, pox things. Yeah. Once you get those, your family's gonna kick you out because you got them. Never happened. Yeah, it's, it's like he's been held by her like two or three times, and I know that was like the first time. And this time it's she actually, actually really cool. seemed really, really worried about what was going on with Spike. Well, yeah, because like he, he kept like seeing her a couple of times throughout the episode, and she was like starting to realize like something wasn't adding up. What was going on? Like finding him coming out of a freaking bush. It's like, oh, this is where I slept. Like, uh, why the dude? fuck did you sleep there? Because my father told me. Um, boy, okay. you better tell me everything that's going on. And I like how they like how they came up with that little uh, scheme in order to try and get him to rat himself out. And the one thing that made it go clear was the pillow. But he still ended up taking the pillow in the end. He's like, "No, oh, give my pillow!" Yeah, and I still don't know how the hell that thing didn't rip when all three of them were pulling on it. Like that's a strong fucking pillow. It was made of the silk of the non-breakable silkworms. Okay then. <laughs> Uh, but but if it was unbreakable, then who defeated it? Who defeated the silkworm in order to turn into a pillow? Star Squirrel. <gasps> cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of many. Only a princess can have said pillow because of how expensive it is. Only other thing I'll say is, uh, how was Starlight's response after she was flung out the window like did she just like casually f like float herself back in or she was just like sitting around just like what the heck happened who did this and why she was literally in the fucking bathtub when she got chucked out the damn castle get the fuck out ah! i think that's honestly about all i can really say about this episode same so we'll go ahead and get ready and wrap it up here um as a heads up uh, Ever and I are going to be unfortunately a pretty busy next weekend, so our reaction to the finale is actually going to come out a couple days late Even because of this. So just giving y'all the finale? heads up. Even though I already know what happens in the finale, uh, we only know a little bit. But anywho, um, just want to give you guys that little warning in case you were like, "Worst reaction." <laughs> And also this time, let's not forget me in the outro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to hold that on <laughs> me for a while, aren't you? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm really feeling the love. <laughs> you know I love you. I know. I love you too. We all make mistakes. Huh? We all make mistakes. Yep. <laughs> Just like, and I'm blue, da 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 Anywho, uh, before we get too rambled on in here and Ever's food starts getting burnt, we're going to have to wrap this up. So, uh, until we take a look at the finale, this is Burning Mars 24. And Evergreen Feather Song. Saying, see you guys later. Bye-bye.